Well, it looks like animal control is coming. This could be bad or it could be no big deal. I'm not sure yet. Well, like I said, this could be bad. I got some disturbing news. Let me just start off by saying it's not animal control coming to my house necessarily, not yet, but they're coming to the neighbor's house. So apparently here's what happened. Um, neighbor got some new chickens. She had chickens already. Uh, she got some new ones. And, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, well, this has been about a month ago, you know, she got them as babies, but they were growing. And about a month ago, we decided, hey, there's one of them that's definitely a rooster. Two of them, I think it was, definitely roosters. So when we were processing our meat chickens, we went ahead and processed those four because you can't have roosters in town. Well, apparently we didn't get all the roosters. So she had a couple more that ended up being roosters as they grew up and uh, didn't even realize it until they started crowing about four o'clock in the morning. Sure enough, one of the neighbors complained. I'm not sure who, but one of the neighbors complained about it. Um, she also had three little pygmy goats in her backyard. You guys may have seen those in my past videos. Great little goats. They're just friendly, super nice to have around. Uh, don't bother anybody. Well, apparently whoever complained said she had roosters and that she also had goats and the goats were, uh, you know, causing a, a big smell. Uh, that, you know, I, I don't know exactly what they said, but anyway, animal control came to the house, told her she couldn't have her goats anymore. She had to get rid of the goats. Uh, that, you know, there is an ordinance that allows goats, but you have to have one acre of property per goat, which is ridiculous, but that's the ordinance. So they made her get rid of the goats, told her she could only have three hens. And uh, so she had to get rid of all her chickens except for three hens, three hens. That seems ridiculous to me as well, only three. But um, they also told her her chicken coop had to be 50 feet away from anybody's house, including her own. I think it is, but I'm not sure about that. So anyway, they told her all this stuff, gave her 30 days to get it taken care of, and then they're gonna come back and inspect and give her a certificate so she can keep her three hens. So she, she went from five chickens or six chickens, I think it was, and three goats down to three hens only. So I feel sorry for her. I mean, her goats were her pets and she's, you know, she was heartbroken about it. Uh, but she came over and let us know about it because she's a little bit worried about what they might say about my setup over here. And I am too, honestly. You know, technically there's no city ordinance about quail, but, you know, these guys are gonna be super sensitive when they come to check this out, and you know, the animal control. Um, you know, they're, they're just doing their job, so I can't be mad at them. Um, and they even told her, you know, we're only here because somebody complained. Now, nobody's complained about my setup. We haven't gotten any kind of notice or anything like that. I'm friendly with my neighbors on both sides of me. But again, I don't know who complained about hers. I don't think they even know about my setup. So I may be okay as far as that goes. They're not coming to my house specifically, but my neighbor right next door. And, uh, you know, they could definitely see my setup from there. In fact, I, I got to think they've already seen it if they came to the house and gave her a you know, gave her a notice and then, you know, talk to her about that. I don't, I don't know, honestly. So when they come back to do the inspection on her um, property, which is going to be a couple of weeks from now, probably, I'm a little worried that they're going to see this setup back here. They're going to wonder what I have and they're going to come back and check it out. And then I don't know what's going to happen from there. Um, if they do come back and check it out again, there's technically no city ordinance against quail specifically, but they may fall under, they may consider them like the same as chickens and tell me I can only have three hens, which would be ridiculous. That just, there's no point to that, you know. Um, again, no, none of my neighbors have complained. Um, I, I just don't know what to expect from this. You know, I thought about trying to uh, do something to kind of hide this, but again, it's, you know, if, they've, if they're gonna see it, they're gonna see it. Um, I don't really have any way to, I don't have a privacy fence up here. It's not super hidden. You could see it from the roadway. Um, nobody's complained about mine, so they don't have any reason to come over here necessarily. Uh, like I said, they told her that they were only there because somebody complained. So I think I got a pretty good chance that they're not gonna bother me a bit. Um, I'm a little bit worried about the rabbits too. The city ordinance for rabbits says you have to have like 30 square feet of cage space per rabbit. I mean, it's a ridiculous amount, but I can just pull the tarps down over the rabbit hutches. Nobody will even know that they're there. So I don't think that's gonna be an issue. I think I'll be able to, to hide those, so to speak. It's the quail back here I'm a little bit worried about. So what I'll probably end up doing is, it's a little too early for me to process all these guys. The, the grow outs are not quite big enough yet, but I think in the next week I'll go ahead and process my adults so I don't have to worry about any roosters crowing you know, while animal controls here inspecting things and drawing attention. 
Um, I don't know if they'd even notice it. I mean, they sound a lot like songbirds, so they may just think it's some kind of songbird. I don't know. I mean, these are city folk. This isn't the Department of Conservation that knows what a quail sounds like or knows, you know, game birds or any of that. So I think we might be able to get away with that if I do that. Um, I'm also going to have to clean out from underneath the hutches. And it's not terrible. Let me point the camera down. I'll show you. All right, so you can probably see it's, it's not terrible. But to, like I said, to city folk, they're going to come over here and see that. And they're probably going to say, well, that's going to draw flies. And, you know, that could be the source of the smell. And it really doesn't smell. I mean, even after, and we had a heavy rain last night. And it, you know, really, there's not much of a smell out here at all. In fact, the people are always amazed when they come over and they're like, it doesn't really smell. It's not that bad. So, uh, you know, I don't know that that's going to be a problem, but I think that they'll make some assumptions if they come over and check this out. And, uh, oh, you got all this, you know, quail droppings, manure gathering up here. It's drawing flies. And you tell, I mean, there's, there are a few flies around, but it's not that many flies. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But again, it's all about perception and they're going to be sensitive right now to people complaining. So they, if they wanted to, they could come over here and cause a real big problem for me um, and tell me I had to get rid of everything. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But I've got no way as it is to hide these things. I'm here, let me show you the view from the road. I know you can probably tell. I mean, it's not, I mean, I'm just standing right here in front of the hutches. The hutches are just right there. And if you're standing at the road right out there, you can see them pretty easily. Um, so. You know, I don't, I mean, there's not, there's not much I can do. I can't build a privacy fence around them. I can't, I mean, I'm just kind of stuck. I'm just going to have to kind of hope that uh, they don't come by. But again, what I'll do is I'll, you know, probably go ahead and process the adults next weekend. That way I don't have any birds crowing or anything like that, drawing extra attention to them. Clean up underneath the hutches so that if they do come over and inspect, at least it looks like it's being cleaned up pretty regularly. I, I don't mean that. It's not like it's a huge problem. I mean, it doesn't cause a problem. It doesn't draw that many flies in. It doesn't cause a big smell. Again, none of my neighbors have complained about this. Um, it's just, it's not a big problem, but perception is reality. So at least make it look like it's being cleaned up pretty regularly. Um, cause that would be the one thing that they would complain about. I think they would say, you know, even though there's no ordinance against quail themselves necessarily, there are ordinances against, or like for, uh, you know, game or for uh, fowl, like, uh, like chickens and things like that. They may group it all together, but even if they don't do that, the one thing that they could do, I think would be say, well, it's not. You know, this is definitely a nuisance area. You've got, you know, manure laying on the ground. It's going to draw flies. It's going to draw, you know, mice and all those kinds of things in. And um, so if I'm, you know, at least clean it up and, you know, make it look like I'm cleaning it up every day or so, then, you know, that's that lessens the likelihood of something like that happening. The fact that nobody's complained about it, I think I'm okay. I don't think they're going to come over here and, you know, unless they get a complaint from somebody. But you never know. So it's something to be kind of a... Uh, kind of worried about. I don't know that it's going to be an issue. I just, uh, you know, there's not much I can do. Just wait and see, I guess. Wait and find out what happens. Hopefully, they don't come over here and bother me. We're going to find out. Anyway, um, I don't have much to share with you guys. I'll share with you as it happens. Um, and of course, if they do come over here and check my stuff out, you'll definitely know about it there. But uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, Thanks for watching this video. Say a couple prayers for me that um, I don't get in trouble with the city. And uh, as always, God bless.